Welcome to the Broken News, PBS K36BW, with your co-anchors. Justin Harris. And Cody Best. And Weather with Conrad Jenkins. This is your broken news. What do, we, what do you want to talk about? Some news? Know. There's a lot of things to talk about. I got a few stories up my sleeve. Really? Yeah. It was a figure of speech. Oh. Hello everyone and welcome to the 76th episode of the broken news. I'm Justin Harris. And I'm Cody Best, and it's a beautiful day in Sanders County, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Yes, it is. And of course, we are looking to make your day a bit brighter by bringing you some important and interesting stories. Such as coverage of last weekend's Big Brownie Bake Off Bash at the Thompson Falls Market. And we got some fantastic footage from a preseason game where our Blue Hawk football team already marked up a victory. And we'll take a special look at this month's Blue Hawk sports schedule. And, of course, with all that, we'll be bringing you your weather with Sanders County's very own Conrad Jenkins. Well, let's get right to it. Last weekend at the market featured all the usual vendors with their homemade, homespun, or homegrown wares. But it also featured something that crowned a new county's greatest. The 2010 Brownie Bake Off was a new contest at the Thompson Falls Market, and it strove to answer the question, Who makes the best brownies in Sanders County? Familiar faces gathered to taste the chocolatey goodness of these baking competitors, while brownie judges judged the brownie entries. A tasting table was even available for the public to vote for their favorite brownie in the People's Choice Award category. This year's winner of the 2010 Brownie Bake Off was Terry Thompson. Hooray! Who, uh, if you'll remember from last year, she won the Cinnamon Roll Challenge. Wow. First a challenge, then a bake-off. Sounds like she's got desserts covered. Well, don't miss next week's September 11th competition, the Tomato Taste Challenge, where judges will determine who grows the best tomatoes in Sanders County. Oh, I'll be there. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm going to enter the funny tomato poem, song, or limerick competition. Oh, this, this should be good. What? You doubt my funny tomato skills? No, not at all. This, this should be good. The Thompson Falls Market runs for two more Saturdays this season on the west lot of the Falls Motel from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's a great opportunity to shop local for goods that you know where it comes from, what it's been fed, and exactly who is benefiting from your economy-conscious decision. Not to mention the market money you can win to spend at the Thompson Falls Market and the many other prizes and drawings every week. For more information, you can contact Market Coordinator Katrina Campbell at 827-3559 or via email at manager at thompsonfallslodging.com. Wow, fresh fruits, vegetables, baked goods, arts and crafts, all locally produced and found in downtown Thompson Falls.